So my name is Brian Jansen. I own martial arts schools and daycares. Um, I currently live in Edmonton, but I fly back and forth to BC. I grew up in BC and um, yeah, my wife is here uh, starting off her career. And so, um, you know, it's, uh, it's a busy, busy situation, but um, I'm happy doing it. Thank you. So we want to talk a little bit about one good book. And were you always an avid reader, Brian? No. Uh, so in school, I was your typical kind of C, C plus student. And I don't think it was for like a, a lack of intelligence. I just think it was a lack of motivation, desire to, to, to want to read um, and even just sit down and, and take the time. I think at that age, I had like a you know, a bunch of ADD happening. And so I was just like, let's get outside and play. Um, and so I, it's not something that I really focused on as a kid. So when is it that you um, started to think, hmm, books are actually something that are not horrible or, you know, th there's something that take me somewhere different than my feet take me, for instance, or yeah. you have a story about how they can take you somewhere that your feet took you. Okay. So, um, you know, around, so once I finished high school, I, I said like, you know, that's it. I'm, I'm never going to have to read a book again. And I think I actually remember saying that. And, um, and then uh, around age 20, 21-ish, I was, you know, the head instructor of a gym. Um, I was looking for information on just leadership books and just leadership in general and just those kind of things. So I, I did read a little bit around that age. Um, I went through a pile of books and, and then I just stopped. I was like, well, I have all the information I need. You know, I'll just keep honing in on my skills. Um, yeah, you, re you reached your goal that you needed the books for. Yeah, and, and that was it. I was like, okay, so so here I am, you know, nearly um, 15 years later. And all through the past 15 years, my wife says to me, you know, you should be reading Sherlock Holmes. You should be reading uh, all the stuff and you should be reading for fun. And I was like, ah, I just don't. Because when, when she reads, she tells me about these visual pictures that she gets. I wasn't experiencing any of that. Yeah. And so I was like, ah, this is not really, I was just seeing text. Yeah. And so, um, you know, it just wasn't that interesting to me. And so I guess it wasn't until recently, um, within the last few years that I just started picking up a book for fun. And so uh, that's kind of where I'm at now. Mm -hmm. so, so tell me about when you and your wife went to England, paint a picture for me, kind of a her enthusiasm, your under, whereas where you were at. In that yeah, scene. so so we went to uh, 221 Baker Street and um, we went and something like she had to go there. I'm like, okay, you have to go there. I'm just along for the ride. Oh, go, yeah, we'll go. And um, I mean, she had planned out the entire trip. So it's not like I had a, a choice in the matter anyways. <laughs> but <laughs> but um, so we went. It was a lot of fun. Everything was interesting. But, you know, walking through it. You know, she's going, oh, this, this, and this is this, and this is that. And, um, and I'm going, okay, you know, it doesn't really mean a lot to me. Yeah, but what at a the nerd, end of it, right? <laughs> yeah, actually, I'll show you at the end of it. Yeah. So to paint a picture for oh. you, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And so, um, you know, and even that was um, back in 2014, we did that trip. Uh, or 2015 and um and uh I still didn't pick up the book then <laughs> even after you know so many times you should read this book and yeah. um and so it wasn't in just until maybe a month or two ago where I picked up the kindle and I just because I was reading a bunch of other stuff I, I just was I picked it up and I I started reading it and you know with within the first book I I started to have those you know um visualizations as I'm reading I could there was so much imagery happening uh, whereas I just didn't have that before and so yeah. uh, reading for me has recently become a lot more fun than it used to back in the day right so yeah, yeah. well that's great yeah so I think that what you're telling is is just a perfect illustration of how um, you can connect the stories in the book with your real life experience now, of course, yeah. um, mm. starting with the real life experience first, <laughs> but yeah. anyways, yeah. yeah. And how now you can connect all the imagery in the book to what you saw there. 
Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so that's fantastic. It's, 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 been, it's been nice. And, you know, the other thing is we have something to talk about now. And um, it's always nice for couples to have, um, you know, something in common where you can connect on. So, yeah. Yeah. So when you read now, Brian, is there something in particular, a style that you like? Well, I'm, I'm enjoying this. I'm going to try and, well, I'm not going to try. I'm going to get through all of the books um, okay. for Sherlock Holmes. I'm, I'm currently in the third book now. Um, I just started that. And so I'm going to continue to do that. Um, I, I, I have read a few of, like I read um, Night by Ellie Weissel. Um, it's, um, you know, about the Holocaust. And I just mm-hmm. actually, I read that entire book in a matter of a few hours. It was so... Wow. Um, it was just so uh, captivating and just, I, I couldn't put it down. And so, um, yeah, yeah a very powerful book. Uh, highly recommend that one. Um, yeah. Great. So, yeah. Yeah. I, I would continue reading just all kinds of books. I think it's become more of a part of my life than it ever has. And so that's been kind of cool. Mm-hmm. It's fantastic. 